Hey you guys, my name is Oshu and Oshu and the Great and welcome, welcome to my beautiful channel. I'm starving but I also want to put in work for you guys today. So I wanted to touch on what's going on with my incest uh, case or whatever. So some of you guys know that recently as I've been traveling and wand wandering, um, I set out to actually report my family on incest. Um, and I actually wrote a book on how I escaped incest. Now so far, what has happened is my mom had got a lawyer right away. She didn't want to speak on the topic at all. So um, the cop that had spoken to me didn't have a way to get answers from her. Um, I, provi I provided the information that I have so far. They were going to reach out to my brother and hopefully he, speak he would speak up or whatever. But obviously he's a part of the problem. Um, so, so far, um, obviously my family, have they're going off, opting off the fact that, not the fact, but they're trying to play off the off of me having a mental illness and these are some of the trials or, or things you can endure if you are thinking about speaking up about incest um right away though for me when my mother got a lawyer that was guilty as shit so obviously they you know they are still being protected all my family all of a sudden wanted to reach out to me family that i never spoke to um and shit wanted to get in my business but i cut that off right away <laughs> Um, it's funny because over the years, um, the only kind of mental illness or anything that I've ever dealt with is, is what is anxiety and depression. Now, from the situation that my family has did, done to me, I have developed a lot of issues from my everyday life, like PTSD, not being able to trust people, and so forth. Um, and ever since I left my family, I've just been wandering and learning how to survive on my own. Um, oh, okay, so... <laughs> With that being said, um, so yeah, that's what's happening so far. And the mental illness shit is really a slap in my face because instead of standing up for what they did, admitting their wrongs, um, they, that, that means they feel justified in what they did to me. Um, and, and they is my mom, my brother, my father. All of them was, were in on this together. And um, now they're trying to say that, oh, she has a mental illness. But when, when all the years I was even going to my mother about mental health, she would always say, oh, you're fine, or, oh, you know, it's just, uh, other than hyper, my, her, her own self-diagnosed hypochondria. Um, What's up, Sorry, I'm late. Oh, uh, hold on, I have to write, <laughs> make a YouTube video, it's important. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so, sorry, you guys. Um, but, so, with, with this being, <laughs> fuck, people in the park are really, really weird. <laughs> but, okay, so, with that being said, um, I had to pretty much um shit you made me lose my train of thought train of thought anyways so i had to oh anyways over the years my mother never claimed that i had mental illness until i started speaking up about rape and in the beginning i wasn't even saying it was them or any names um but all of a sudden oh you have mental illness now instead of saying oh how are you how did you know asking about the rape or how i felt about being raped it, it, it became this thing whether they that they wanted to cover up or hide so no one cared at all about how i felt how the rape affected me but more so protecting the people protecting themselves basically um and again other than her self-diagnosed hypochondria i never had any mental, mental issues never had any attempts of suicide things of that nature so it's nothing that they can really bring to light that was like oh yeah she just has mental issues there's a lot of things again stemming from what they did and what happened that caused me to have issues today in adulthood and again i'm wondering and stuff right now so i don't have the elements to go into therapy and, and go to regularly and shit like that um so <laughs> where i am right now <coughs> is i'm pretty much working on survival and that's pretty much where I am. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, um, hopefully this just kind of catches you guys up what's going on about my incest case. And for those of you who are looking to speak up in your own cases, um, hopefully this helps. But yeah, be dope, be unapologetically. Peace.